right, guys, I am just here, and we are back with Banished, and I know I hate to say this, but I started a new game, even though we just started a new one together, but the reason why I did this is because I wanted to have my Medieval Village uh, uh, modded content, as well as the Colonial Charter content in the same game together, so we could have more options while building our town, and I reloaded it, I got it to work, it should be, yeah, it's all here right now. We're good to go. And I can't find my people. I don't know where we were. It, this looks familiar. No. Um, as you can see, that's our little map. It's a brand new, pretty flat area. I'm still on harsh conditions. Over here? No, it looks familiar, though. I know it was around here somewhere. Oh, yay, yeah, here. And I did... <laughs> very hard. We're doing the Adam and Eve version. So basically, we got these two people right here, and this is all, this is all we get. We get this cart, that's it, and we get these two people, and that's it. That's how it starts off. No seeds, nothing else is added. It's just us, literally us. So I'm gonna call him Mr. and Mrs. Iandis. No, I'm kidding. We'll go by their real names. We got Rillin, Rillin, and Alfonson, Alfonson and Rillin. They will be the people who create this town. Basically, their children are going to end up having sex with each other and having babies. So it might be a little incestual for a while. But hey, that's how they do it in the South, right? I'm not sure if that was a good joke. I think it was funny, but I don't want to offend anyone at the same time, you know? Anyways, so the first thing I want to do is whenever I play the game, like I showed you guys in the beginning with my tips and tricks on Banished, is I always do like a in the forest area, and I always make sure I have houses there. So I think I want to start that with these guys, like their house is going to be in the middle of a forest. Yeah. But all this is not foresty. So I think I'm actually going to have them build their house like this. Uh, let me see the map. Where's the map? Okay, this will be easier to move. Um, this seems like the natural forest of such, of such. I could probably end up doing like two, just growing a forest there. That might work, but then over here, this has mountains though. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so right here will be like our main hunters and gatherers and the main first area that we start off with everything. Okay, so first, wait a minute, what do we need? We have food, we have fuel, we have tools and coats. We should make a house. Tiny shack. Let's just, let's just go over here so I can see what they look like. Here's a tiny shack. How many people can live in it? Three people, so they can have a kid. A log cabin. A wooden house. A salt box, salt box house is what I was building in the last one. A stone house, this is from the original game. A town adobe. That looks like shit. A country house, we can't do that yet because that requires those things. A boarding house, a town lodging, colonial houses, and row houses. Rear extension. I had a feeling they all needed those. Yep, they all need those too. And then we have our towns from the medieval. And we have one, two, and three medieval layers, as well as corner houses. And then, um, hostels. Hostels. I didn't know we had hostels. That's legit. And I think different parts of this town will have different buildings in it, like different looks to it. So I think... Because the best thing to do when you're in a small area like this and you don't want to get rid of many trees is to build up. So I think we're going to build one of these. The first floor residences. Let's pick what kind. Wasn't it F? Yeah, it was F. Um, 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 that one looks cute. And from there we'll build it up so I don't have to take out so many trees one we're building here so that when I do have like hunters and gatherers huts they won't you know what I mean actually let's place those down while we can 
I forgot how many options there are here. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. Trees and lodging. Well, I'm going to need a tree and lodger. Forest lodge. Forest lodge. New trees. Palm trees. And this is for hardwood forester. So let's get a normal forester. Oh, my God. They're way bigger than I remember. I think this might be part of a mod. Wow, this is fucking huge. Like, this whole area could just be a forest. I think I'll just make this, like, top little corner be the forest. Um, so, like... Right... There? I like it, but I want to make sure the roads aren't weird. And they have a new fashion, too, see? But you can switch it back to the old one. I like the new one, though. It's just a cute and tiny little house. Kind of goes with the flow some more. Yeah, I like it right there. Okay, now we're going to need food. Eventually, when they have kids and the kids grow up. I forgot where the hell they are. Like, seriously, where, where are they? <laughs> There's always so many options. I don't know what to do. Animal pens, butcher, canneries, transparent, roofing, food gathering. Oh, my God, it was right in front of me. We're going to need a hunter's gathering tent. Yeah, it looks like they increased all of them based on one of the mod packs I have. That will be useful. Right there. I like it there, yes. Then we're going to need a gatherer's hut. Oh, this one's still tiny? What the fuck? Oh, well, if we put it, like, right in the middle, it should be fine. So, here... And then I want a house right in the middle. So that the house will actually be close proximity and they don't have to walk too far. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I keep making hand movements as if I was being recorded, but I'm not. It's just kind of funny. Okay. One story. How do I rotate? Not rotate the building. Rotate me. This way. Okay. So this... Is gonna be our road down here. Basically, I'm gonna have them move their resources up here too. And then our house is gonna be right here on this corner. I want the yeah this rotate rotate. Okay, so that's the road. That's the building. How did I say I wanted it? I wanted the the that one that one. Okay, so I'm going to actually pause the hunting cabin, pause the forester, pause the gatherer's hut, because they need to get their house built first, and then I'm going to let them go and get started on that, and then I also need them to get, oh yeah, I got this, why is it snowing? Oh, because I'm in harsh conditions. I have a train. I can do a train. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. That'll be awesome. And then, um... I want, what the fuck am I looking for? I'm looking for storages. That's right. Because I don't want to use that cart. Grocer's cart? Oh, that's cute. That's what I have. Um, wait, I have a supply cart. Whatever. Market building, stockpiles, hardwood, hardware, or hardwood. I guess I should have a small stockpile. I don't think I have a stockpile yet, which is why they can't build anything. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bad me. Let's see. How many houses am I going to need? You need four here. Let's just say four here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, because I'll need a hardwood. Twelve? And then a herbalist will need two more. So fourteen, and let's say two per house, and I need seven. So I'll need two houses to go all the way up. So I need a house here. Oh, wait, shit. I can't place that there. I need to move that over one. So I need two houses to go all the way up. Probably three houses. 
Yeah, I think I'll do three houses. Go all the way up. So if we're going to do three houses that go all the way up. That's the road. I want to do the stockpile. Uh, let's just... Okay. Let's get rid of the house. Let's outline where the houses are actually going to go. Okay, so... God damn it. See, with these houses, when you do... Uh, What's it called? Second and third layers, they go on the side. So, like, the second layer goes on the right side, and the third layer goes on the left. So, if I'm this close to a building, I can't build a layer over there. So, I'm going to need one like that. And there's going to be a gap for the house, and I need another gap for this house. Yeah. And then, again, where am I? Okay, so I need a gap for that house and a gap for this house. Beautiful. I'm not going to have them actually build it. I'm just laying this all out so I know exactly how I want it to go. And then... What? Oh, this is the road. Good. Okay, so the road will go down there. And then one, two, one, and two, one, and two. Perfect. And then I'm going to put a little stockpile here. I'm probably going to have like a little, like, marketplace here as well because these things are rather large it's just a gatherer's hut that won't be able to I might end up making like another gather gatherer's hut anyways so it'll be fine but this is it's gonna be a really small little town to start with that is for sure because I don't want anything crazy you know what I mean let's just do a little stockpile I'd rather put it behind the houses, but actually, yeah, that would make a lot of sense to me. I could build a road coming around the houses to get to the stockpile. So road here, oh fuck, I might as well just draw the fucking road. I can't, that needs a house, this needs a road. Okay, beautiful. And then, this will be a road. Yeah, country road for sure, man. Just like that. And then where does this build? This building ends here. Why does it go in like that? I have no idea. This is weird. And then one of these buildings, I should be able to build like a little road in. Yeah. Here as well. Yeah, and then I guess that was it. Okay, so it's going to go loop around and then we're going to put the stockpile in the back here. I want it in line with the houses. Houses go four wide, right? So one, two, three, four. Yeah. That'll be the stockpile. Sweet, okay. So I want them to focus on that. And then as they go and they clear that builder, they're not considered builders. Where is the button to increase priority? Wow, I swear I have played this game like a week ago. And yet I still don't know. I don't remember for some reason. I don't know why it's not counting them as builders. Oh well. Okay, so while they do that, where are they? They're coming all oh, so slowly. I know we're far away. I know, guys. And then let's see. See? Oh, that's a cool looking general store. I like it. That is legit. Oh, the trees are changing colors because it's spring. A farm stand. That's cute. Smaller than a market. Provides local food and necessities. Honestly, I would do that in a more rural area, but this is going to be like a pretty well-developed part of town. Um. Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
market buildings, there's a fucking lot of markets. Small market. Oh, that's cute, too. I feel like this would match better with the style we have going over here. You know what I'm saying? A rule. Oh, that's a fucking huge market. And then there's also markets with this guy. I'm not... I'm looking at markets. I'm supposed to be looking at a... Uh, um... You know what I mean. I'm supposed to be looking for storage. Oh, there they are. They finally get, got over here. Cloth, grain, fruit, hardware. Oh, I guess they don't have a, like, general market. Granary, storage of coal, fruits and vegetables, food storage, tiny barn, I think I just want to give them like a nothing too huge capacity 5,000 capacity 4,000 yeah let's just do like 4,000 they don't need a lot over here oh there's that um I can put it on this side yes perfect right there all right, guys, I'm going to let them get to building, and I'll see you soon. And I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, because I am just a baby little YouTuber with not many people, but I love the people who I have. And as always, Iandis is out. <laughs>